Hello students, my name is Teacher Infos and today I'll help you out in your stunting career. In the previous 4 lessons I showed you how to grind properly, which tools are best and most used in stunting, showed you some methods which can increase your speed, and of course how to bump properly. Well, in lesson number 5 I'll show you another stunting method, which is a lot simpler called a taxi boost. A taxi boost of course can be done in a taxi, but also in a cabbie, the latter being a bit easier to use and you'll see why. But what is a taxi boost? Simple, the taxi boosts. Find the wall, boost on it, and then you can land on a very high building for instance, or better yet, onto a precision landing, which always looks amazing. Let's discuss those first, before we move on to the harder stuff. Let's start with the controls first. A taxi will lose its horn after you complete 50 fares, replacing it with a jump. Essentially your horn turns into a jump. Now you could use shift or space buttons to taxi boost, which of course works fine and dandy, but why not make it easier for yourself and try something different? Go to your option settings and change the standard horn button to scroll wheel, and now a taxi boost turns into a roll boost. This way you can boost much higher since you're able to activate your jump much more frequently. But remember, scrolling too quickly is not actually better because the game will not register half your scrolls. Instead do it a bit slower. Don't use your scroll wheel like a maniac. Now that you know how to roll boost, you should know that your frame rate is a big factor on how high and how far you can boost to. The more frames you have, the farther you go. So unlock your frame rate in the menu and get them 100, 200, 500 FPS and go nuts. The two vehicles boost in a different way, and while yes, both methods work for both cars, you should stick to what I show you until you master the movement of both. Let's start with the cabbie. Find the wall and face it at a 45 degree angle, making sure that you have enough room to gain some speed. Start driving towards it and activate your nitro. Once you get close, steer away from the wall for a second. Very good, now steer back towards the wall and jump right as your left tires lift themselves a bit. Once you touch the wall, you can start roll boosting, again making sure sure not to roll boost too quick. Here it is again in real time, drive towards it, steer away, steer back at the wall, jump and boost. Now let's look at the taxi. Sure you can do the same here but the taxi will not jump too high initially and will make some stunts frustrating. What I suggest is to park a different vehicle, such as a packer close by, which will help you lift up your two wheels. After you do, get close to the wall and roll boost. Simple right? Well sure but it's much more difficult to pull off and that's why people use the cabbie more frequently. Taxi boosts are not only used for wall boosting, but for some very creative things such as a combination of the monster truck method. I'll discuss that one in depth in a different lesson but here is a short version. Walk up to a pedestrian car, drive on top of it with one tire, get off, get in your taxi, jump on the car and congratulations you are now an ass astronaut. And this concludes lesson number 5 everyone, taxi boosting is not hard to grasp, but landing these precisions is hard to master. Good luck and happy stunting! Check the other lessons in the playlist placed in the description of this video. And lastly, thank you for watching and a very special thank you goes to my lovely Patreon supporters, Austin Data, How's the Chowder, Alex Chavez and Max Robinson, Teacher Infos out.